Hi, it's Mr. Knuckles Home Remedies. And if you have pantry moths, you'll know exactly what kind of a hassle they are. Uh, this is a pantry moth trap. You might know a little bit about those too. It's just a piece of cardboard with some sticky stuff and a little pheromone strip. That's what that red thing is. You buy them off of Amazon or whatever on the internet, but they cost way too much money. And we go through a ton of these things. And uh, these ones aren't even that full. Pardon the bird in the background. He's, he's a little feisty today. Um, anyways, we just change these ones and we've got them in every part of our pantry and they fill up regularly. These things, uh, they get into, I mean, you notice we've got everything in bags and they still get into, into stuff. Um, and they leave webs and worms and they fly all over the house. They just, they're just a huge pest. So rather than spend a whole bunch of money, I decided to make mine. And, uh, so I've been trying to figure out what kind of sticky stuff to use. Obviously... What you want to do is you want to take a just a piece of cardboard. I actually got this out of, of out of the recycler, it's just a, an old uh, box of some sort, and I just folded it and I made some sticky stuff. And I took the pheromone strip off of um, one of the ones that was used up, one of the uh, old uh, pantry moth traps that was used up. But I got this recipe off YouTube from a girl named Back to Basics gal. So the recipe is. Uh, corn syrup, a quarter cup of corn syrup, a quarter cup of regular sugar, and two tablespoons of water. And all I'm doing is just I'm just brushing these, brushing this stuff onto these things, and then using paper clips to clip them together. And supposedly these, this stuff will be really super sticky. I haven't tried these yet. This is the first shot at them. But anyways, that's a way to make a nice cheap pantry moth trap. And if they work really well, I'll uh, I'll put it in the video later on. All right, see ya.